Looks like I got eight books. Oh, <laughs> damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Oh, 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 I got eight books. Three nine to the Welcome to the mob. Welcome back to the Double B Mob channel, man. Today, we got somewhat of a random video. Um, it's not a comedian. It's not a specific sport. It's, it's a white guy at his first black cookout. <laughs> um, yeah, have y'all ever seen a white a white person at any of y'all family cookout? No. Mm -mm. Have y'all ever seen somebody who just looked out of place at y'all cookouts? No, I don't think I never experienced that. Ever? Have y'all ever been to a cookout with? Okay, well, I guess that's towards everybody. Okay, shut up. What is that? It's an Amber Alert. Yeah. Hey man, y'all look after y'all folks, man. They say stay safe this next given wear mask distance and get tested. And remember Maryland restaurants and bars are now closed at 10 p.m. Yeah, man. That's a good that's a good segue. Um today, as y'all can see, we may not have the, the most energy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, all three of us. <laughs> and you know, feeling a little under the weather, you know, but nothing Nothing major, so we know yet, you know, but um, just, you know, keep y'all family members and y'all friends and, you know, look out for them and, and, you know what I'm saying, just keep everybody, you know, under a watchful eye, you know, it's crazy times right now, so, you know, just wanted to throw that out there, and of course, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, you know what I'm saying, the whole mob, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us through the thick and the uh, thin, man, so. But uh, yeah, I said y'all y'all never been to a a cookout where y'all fell out of place. No, I don't think I never. It's been like my family will will point somebody out fast. But I I did I did I did once like me and my me and my uh my um cousins that we we played we went to somebody else cookout and wasn't invited. Oh, you said y'all went to somebody else's cookout. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Like we just like we saw somebody that's having a cut down in the park. Like we just pulled up, got a plate, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody did that, man. I'm saying, like, <laughs> like was it, like have you ever been to like a white no, dinner? No, 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 never did that. Okay, all right. Well, y'all ready to see his experience? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends. Okay. Most of them got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together <laughs> on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road to keep going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, you ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my pick em up truck, <laughs> I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. <laughs> All right? As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa, and his great grandma and grandpa, and his 47 cousins. All right? There's no <laughs> way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating that, okay? They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Okay? And I'm gonna eat it. 
Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, <laughs> with two different potato salads. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't been to piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay, so I ate both of them and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. <laughs> now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, Mama T, is what they call her. Mama T. Mama T. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. <laughs> now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. She's going to me a five-pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after Nick's. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't gonna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't gonna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian psychosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I'm like, whew. As soon as I'm tempted my little head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have... I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout society. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And that, the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. Alright, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got <laughs> bored one day, Corno. literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right, put it in a bag, went down there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the run around idea of what the hell is going on with this spades game, I, realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Oh, oh, that is the wrong <laughs> damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Oh, 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 I got eight books. Three <laughs> I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived no. that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, Hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. you got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I'm going to do it. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast, my fucking <laughs> Okay? And apparently when they yelled gator, that's just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. <laughs> Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck. I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. Mama I am T. zero in on my truck trying to leave this place. <laughs> now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it. And there is a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, <laughs> mate. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck. Oh, shit. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. 
bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. That's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. You get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice? <laughs> some or like, or like some ice. Some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got white beaters and stuff. Y'all, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo. Bruh, saying you got eight books, bruh. Bruh, <laughs> 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 you know, would have died at the table. Bruh, bruh, I thought he was about to say they got an argument. <laughs> you know how black people get with space, bruh. bruh. You don't know how to play, and you messing up. Bruh. Oh, my God. I was with family, bruh. First time I ever played. I got cussed out. They kicked me away from the dinner table, bruh. <laughs> I looked at my brother, same thing, bro. I said, man, it's a good hand. I got aces and a couple of spades. I said, I got about 70 of these aces. <laughs> they almost whooped my ass, <laughs> bro. I got like about eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. He said, Mama T claim over. He <laughs> was a five pound, five pound cherry pie. <laughs> Bruh. Five pounds, bruh. What the fuck? That's the best cookouts too, bruh. When you when you just fall asleep, bruh. He said I just don't go to <laughs> Bruh. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. <laughs> yeah, oh. bruh. That was a good that was a good story, man. So if if somebody white came to one of y'all family cookouts, what y'all family doing? I feel like it'd be funny. Like, you know how some white people, they probably, you know what I'm saying, they be dancing and mm-hmm. shit, trying to get down to the, you know, because a lot of white people don't have rhythm. Right. So it would be funny if they trying to do that. I was like, if it was like a story like his, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I ain't going to count to you. Bro, dealing a white person in <laughs> his I lost the $36 fast <laughs> dinner. <laughs> what about you, Dan? A white person come to your family cook out, what y'all doing? Uh, actually, I think... One of my cousins has a white boyfriend, so. Are you cool? <clears throat> I mean, I really don't talk to him, but. I saw this behind the yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my family, everybody keep their eye on him, but, you know, he'll live, you know, he'll get a mm-hmm. plate, you know. <laughs> Probably wouldn't deal him in no spades or no shit like that, but. <laughs> he said I woke up with a <laughs> but getting put in the space game, bro, just out of nowhere. <laughs> People die over space, bro. People die over dice. Imagine it. He said, "I came back. I got a book of, a book of cards in my life. I'm in the space game." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that 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 story was good. That story was funny. Yeah, no, nah, that was good, man. Um, so yeah, white guys first experience at a black cookout. That was a good video, man. We appreciate y'all for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Once again, keep your eye on your family. You know, yeah, most definitely. keep your prayers up for for us and everybody. You know, hope everybody having a good Thanksgiving with their family, man. Yeah, man. Those who out there, you know, what I'm saying, that need help and stuff, send out that condolences to them as well. So. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, man. Till next time. Welcome to the mob.